Let me tell y'all a story that's a perfect example as to why when you have standards or rules when you're dating, like you don't date people with kids or you don't date, whatever it is, whatever your rule is, you never break your rule because they will always show you why you got that rule in place, right? So I went on a date with this guy. While we were texting, you know, we exchanged numbers, I met him out, and he tells me that he's a year younger than me. Now, I have a very specific rule that I've kind of learned over the years not to date any... I don't care if it's a year, a month, a day, not to date anyone younger than me because we know scientifically, like we already know that men mature physically, emotionally, mentally behind women. So if you have someone your age, the guy's already behind you anyway. So you add any kind of age gap, now he's like double, triple behind you, right? So we go on a date. It was a good day, like it was fine or whatever, but um there happened something happened to where we didn't see each other for a while um and he didn't call me for like a few days so i blocked his number because i'm thinking okay you're not interested after the first date that's fine i ended up unblocking his number because what whatever you know and like two days later he texts me or he calls me and he's like hey like i just want to explain why i hadn't heard from him before i had blocked him you know what childish ass reason this guy gave me he was like the last time that me and him texted, I had what we were texting and I didn't text him back. Like he texted the chat last and I never responded. So he didn't respond for a few days because he didn't want to double text me. Are we in high school? You didn't want to double text me? You know what that's telling me? It's telling me that not only are you immature, which I already knew because you're a year younger than me and I shouldn't have went on the date anyway, but it tells me that you feel like you don't got to chase me. I got guys double, triple, quadruple texting me, but you feel like you don't got to text me after I gave you the chance of going on a date with me? Okay. We don't got to see each other no more. Like, it's, it's just so childish. And had I not broken my rule... I wouldn't have wasted my time. Not that the date was a, a waste of time. I mean, it, it was a date. It was whatever. But you see why you don't break your rule? Childish. Yo, this was so crazy to me because she said that on average, men don't mature physically, emotionally, or anything like that as fast as women do. So she won't date a man even a day younger than her. Oh my God. But she's so mature that she took the TikTok to rant about said guy, right? I call bullshit. I don't know about y'all, but for me, this all bullshit because it makes no sense. It doesn't calculate. And you know, when she said that he didn't text her back because she left him on red, that is not something... I don't find issue with that at all because you left the conversation open. He didn't. He responded. You didn't. Okay, I'm not finna chase this girl. But guess what? You could tell she liked this dude because she didn't get the closure that she wanted. So she's telling us how she went about getting her closure. There's more to this story. So look, check this out. Let's break it down like this. Imagine me flipping the script and running the same place she just did. This is what it would sound like. Guys, normally, I don't break my dating rules. I don't date women who are older than me, even if it's by one day, because they tend to be narcissists because they want to act like they're the leader in the relationship due to the fact that they're older than me. So I don't date them. But here's the thing. I got all these young, pretty, tender, not ran through, having been through a whole bunch of trauma, women in my phone, double texting me, triple, quadruple texting me. It don't make sense, right? If I got all these young girls that want me, what I'm dealing with her for? It's all cap. I don't believe this story for one second, dog. I don't believe it. She's not telling us the truth, dog. She ain't giving us the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help her guys. She ain't doing it. That guy dodged the bullet. This one here is crazy. It is what it is. We know she is crazy. Uh, you guys don't want it this summer, I swear to God, I'm outside. I'm out the fuck side. If there's a side, I'm out of it. And I, I'm out of it. Oh, a lot of toxicity about to happen, man. She about to have a city girl, summer, hot girl, summer, whatever you want to call it, man. If you run into this woman, man, I would try to say this. Keep your investment low. Don't get emotionally involved because she going to have a fire roster this summer, dog. She just told you to play. And if you think she planned, that's on you, man. But I'm going to leave her info in the description. So this girl got mad at me because I said for the first link, let's go get some wings, let's go get some smoothies, and let's just chop it up. And she was just like, I'm not a wings and smoothie type of bitch. I'm a Ruth Chris type bitch. I'm a Del Frisco's type bitch. Do you know my last name? And she said no. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm going to spend $400? Hmm? And someone that doesn't know my, I don't know your last name. Actually, the only thing I know is your IG name, right? 
it's Jada Wada XOXO, and you're not even like Jada. <sighs> Some of you girls frustrate me. <laughs> I should have known by her fucking username that she was gonna be such a delusional bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, you don't know my last name. I don't know your last name. I don't even know who you are. You're probably a hoe, and you want me to take you to Del Frisco's? You're laced. <laughs> You're laced. You've been dropped on your head as a baby. Now, this young brother is quite the opposite of the guy that I made the video about yesterday. I'll leave the link right here for you so you can go check that out. He definitely was simping hard and he paid the ultimate price for it. It is what it is. But guys, I feel like in life, you got to find a healthy balance. Maybe not go as hard as this young man, but also don't be a simp like the guy in the video I just linked above. Find medium ground and I think you'll be all right in life. But dude said he ain't going for it. He was like, baby, you don't even know my last name. Why would I spend this type of money on you? <laughs> I haven't been to therapy in a while, but I think it could be beneficial for a lot of people. I just used to hate when my therapist would say dumb shit to me, you know what I'm saying? Because I'd be telling her about how my trust is a little messed up and the lengths that I would go to to find out certain things that I was suspicious about. I don't do that anymore though, because I like to eat, you know what I'm saying? But she'd be like, well, next time you feel like your partner or a loved one's being shady, instead of turning into a detective and putting them under a microscope and sneaking around trying to prove your own suspicions, why don't you just ask them, communicate? Why would I tell her I think she's lying? If I think she's a liar, that's why we're here in the first place. I'm gonna ask, she's gonna lie, and I'm gonna have to turn into Bruce Wayne anyway, so why don't I just start snooping now? But you can't let her know that you snooping. Because if you ask about it, she knows you're suspicious. Then she gonna start doing a clean house protocol. Everything on that phone's getting wiped. <laughs> From the photo album, to the notes, to the text DS, everything's gonna be gone. Then you're gonna look crazy. You probably look crazy now because I sound crazy, but I don't do this anymore. Like I said, I like to eat. Should probably go back to therapy. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, man. Imagine being in therapy and you open up to the therapist and you tell her why you do certain things, then they ask you a stupid ass question like that. Well, uh, sir, I pay you too much damn money for you to be asking these dumb ass questions like this, man. Let's get back to the gist of this. Let's unpack this. Don't worry about why I asked the question. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that would blow me. I'm not gonna hold you. I feel this young brother. Which celebrity would you not want your significant other in a room with alone? In reality, I wouldn't really care, but if I had to pick it up, one of them R&B things, one of them, one of them genuine type shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? That, uh, uh, what the uh, fuck? Bruh, bruh, bruh. I'm just a bachelor. Yeah, you about to get shot, <laughs> boo. You playing around, nigga. Now I'm not gonna hold you, man. Uh, one of them singing ass dudes definitely they 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 use that to their advantage, bro. You know if you can even somewhat hold a note, you can get women, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. I remember one time, bro, I was on the phone to about two o'clock in the morning one time with a girl in high school. This when that music soul child came out. That love, ooh, I went to singing that bitch. She was like, boy, why you ain't tell me you could sing? Well, I never knew I could sing. You the only person that said that dumb shit before. But guess what? You think I can sing? I'm going to milk this motherfucker. I went to sing in Jodeci, all kind of shit. Long story short, I didn't get the draws. I was being lame. It is what it is. I can't take no more. I can't take no more. Man, I'm sick of these hoes. I'm so sick of these hoes. I can't take no more. I can't be a hero. I can't. I can't say these hoes, real player like these rolls. This bitch crazy, here we go. Blowing up my phone, burned up all my clothes. Man, I'm sick of these hoes. I can't take no more. I can't take that. We go way back, like a eight track. I'm fresh like Ajax, and that's straight facts. Get your cake wax. Make my little hoe come and slide it like a Amex. This bitch crazy went through my phone. She's for the gun.